Hey everybody, how are you? The Khmer are a very strange civilization because they have a unique unit that is a scorpion and an elephant, but they also have very strong heavy scorpions. This creates a dilemma because many people don't know when they should make heavy scorpions and when they should make the elite ballista elephants. There are some obvious differences between the two, but it's very complicated, and I think the final verdict may surprise you. So let's take a look. So to start off, heavy scorpions are used as anti-infantry support weapons. They work very well along with elephants, because enemies will oftentimes use large masses of halberdiers in order to hard counter the elephants. Heavy scorpions are so effective at doing this, because their scorpion bolt actually deals damage to every enemy unit along its flight path. I've already made a more in-depth video about scorpions, in which I said the Khmer have some of the best scorpions. This means that the bar that the elite ballista elephants must reach has been set very high. If you quickly compare the stats of the two units, you can see that elite ballista elephants have six times the HP and more melee armor. However, scorpions have more attack and range. This makes the ballista elephants look tougher, but a bit more expensive, and the heavy scorpions look far more dangerous. However, I think there are three aspects of this comparison that we need to examine more closely. The first thing we need to look more in depth into is the survivability of the two units. Now, the elite ballista elephants do have more HP, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. Both units are classified as siege weapons, and so therefore they take bonus damage from rams, petards, cannon galleons, onagers, magyar hussars, eagle warriors, and mangadai. However, that's not it. The Ballista Elephant is also classified as Cavalry and as Elephant, and so they take an enormous amount of extra bonus damage from Halberdiers, Pikemen, Kamiyooks, and Genoese Crossbowmen, as well as a fair amount of bonus damage from Heavy Camels, Elite Mamelukes, Viking Infantry, Eagle Warriors, and, ironically, Heavy Scorpions. The Heavy Scorpion, on the other hand, takes no bonus damage from any of these units because it is not in any of these armor classes. However, when you look at their actual performance, versus Halberdiers, Kamiooks, and Genoese Crossbowmen, all of which have significant bonus damage versus the Ballista Elephant, it still survives longer than the Heavy Scorpion. Versus the Paladin, just for example, it survives a whopping 17 more hits. Even though the Ballista Elephant isn't nearly as tanky as you might think it is just by looking at the base stats, the reality is that it does survive longer than the Heavy Scorpion in most situations. I guess you could call them beefy Ballista Boys. Let's make some noise. That's a good choice. The second thing I want to look at more in depth is the damage effectiveness of these two units. Now, at first, it looks like the Heavy Scorpion is more dangerous, with 7 more attack and 3 more range. Going a little bit deeper, if you look at the bonus damage that both units deal, you can see that they both deal bonus damage to buildings, with the Ballista Elephant being a little bit better. It also has a small bonus damage versus ships, but in reality, you won't ever see this. Heavy Scorpions, on the other hand, deal 8 bonus damage to Elephants, and because it deals 0 melee damage, it also deals plus 5 bonus damage to Rams. Now, in reality, the only bonus damage that is really important is the bonus damage versus Elephants, however, I still want it to be complete. However, it gets way more complicated. You don't believe me? <laughs> You'll see. Now, scorpions can target units that are three tiles further away than the ballista elephant can. However, both can deal damage past this point. Ballista elephants will kill units that are eight tiles away, and scorpions can go up to 12. However, it's a little weird because the Khmer have a unique technology which is double crossbow. This actually adds a second bolt for both units, which for the Ballista Elephant can actually travel further than the primary one. It seems that the secondary bolt can travel up to 12 tiles for both, but it does less damage. 
Speaking of the secondary bolt, let's talk about the real damage of the scorpion and the ballista elephant. Now, I wanted to see if I could create a total damage formula to compare the two units. Why, you may ask? I have no idea, but I did anyway. I can tell you that throughout all of the videos I have made, the tests for this video were among the most convoluted and the most difficult I have ever experienced. However, I'll try to walk you through it as best I can. Now, I did these tests using the HD edition because I tried to use the Voobly platform first, and it just didn't work. I got wildly different results for different units, and it just didn't make sense. However, I was able to use the HD edition and modify some parameters in order to isolate some things, which allowed me to have much better tests. So basically, let's get started. The primary Scorpion Bolt works on both versions of the game, by the way, by taking the base attack of 17, subtracting the Pierce Armor, and that is how much damage will be dealt to the unit that was targeted. However, all other units that are hit will have this number after armor halved. The secondary bolt deals damage in the same way, with the exception that the 17 attack of the primary bolt is reduced to 12. Moving on to the Elite Ballista Elephant, the primary bolt works a little bit different than it does for the Heavy Scorpion. How it works is it takes that 10 base attack of the Ballista, and then it subtracts the Pierce Armor of the opponent, and this number is dealt to all opponents that the primary bolt hits, regardless of whether it was targeted or not. However, there's another very weird mechanic with this primary bolt. How it works is it actually crashes into the last tile, so to speak, and what that means is that it will deal extra damage to a unit or two that's on this tile. I think the reason it does this is because it deals splash damage, meaning that last unit is actually dealt damage twice. This is why the camel in this example is actually dealt almost twice the amount of damage that it should be. However, because this is an area of effect damage, it's not always going to be the complete 10 damage or so, which means take this last part of the formula with a grain of salt. On the other hand, the secondary Ballista Elephant Bolt acts like a primary Scorpion Bolt that deals 6 pierce damage minus armor to the targeted unit, but only half of that to non-targeted units. That's kind of confusing, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if we can make it even worse. Looking at the Ballista Elephant range, if it targets a close unit, the bolts actually won't travel their full range, unlike the Heavy Scorpions. The primary bolt of the Ballista Elephant travels about two tiles further, and the second bolt travels about five tiles further than the targeted unit. On the other hand, the Scorpion's secondary bolt goes off at weird angles. What?! This is so confusing, why does it happen like this? But wait, it gets even worse. Ballista Elephants have a faster fire rate, meaning for every three Scorpion shots, you'll get about four Ballista Elephant shots which makes a damage comparison always more difficult to make. Oh, and just to make it even more convoluted, the Ballista Elephant doesn't ever damage a unit that's only one tile away. Just... WHY?! WHY?! All in all, in theory, fully upgraded Ballista Elephants should deal 16 damage to the targeted unit, 13 damage to all units in the line before this unit, but not to adjacent units, up to 23 damage to the last unit hit by the main bolt, and 3 to 5 damage to units in the line after that, assuming that none of these units have any pierce armor. However, in reality, I couldn't get my tests to actually get this good results. It's kinda random, because the accuracy on these units is really kinda screwy. Overall, it's very difficult to say which deals more damage, because this is just so complicated that it's very hard to wrap my head around. But even with the higher attack rate, remember that Scorpions have a higher base attack, and it seems that their secondary bolt deals more damage than the secondary Ballista Elephant bolt. Using both real game tests and my somewhat unreliable total damage formula, we can see that if you allow both units to attack enemies placed one per tile at their max range, that with both low and high pierce armor, the Scorpion still has a higher damage output. Also, the Scorpion's higher range means that in a real game, it will engage units quicker and kill them sooner, regardless of its slower fire rate. And this final point, I think, brings us out of the theoretical world of the scenario editor and the damage formula, and instead puts us into concrete ground by looking at a real game comparison for the third part of this unit comparison. As we've said previously, the Ballista Elephant looks to be tougher yet more expensive version of the more lethal Heavy Scorpion. So you might assume that you might want to make this because it has such high HP. However, let me put it this way. 
With an elephant civilization, there are two main reasons that you make scorpions instead of champions or hand cannoneers to defend the elephants. The first reason is that the scorpion deals very well with clumped up units. But the second reason is that it's very difficult to simultaneously afford hand cannoneers and elephants because they both cost food. You need a lot of food for elephants and villagers in a deathmatch game, and it's just so difficult to field another food unit like the hand cannoneer. You have to create more farms to get the wood, which takes a lot of time and attention, and so it's far easier to use a unit that costs wood. The same is true with the Ballista Elephant, which costs a whopping 100 food. The Scorpion, on the other hand, costs only 75 wood, and it isn't created at a castle, and as such, it is far, far easier to field. This is what really makes it the better unit, not because of its damage output and these type of statistics, but because of how you use them. All in all, I might make Ballista Elephants if I mismanaged my economy and have too much food, or if I was afraid of enemy onagers, but the reality is that it is the Khmer Heavy Scorpions that are the far better choice. All in all, I hope that my video has shed some light into the difficult and complicated mechanics of these units, but more importantly, I hope that you've been able to see how a real game comparison can just be a lot simpler and a lot more effective than some complicated statistics comparison. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. See you later, bye.